Yo, what it do? Welcome back to another episode of Three Wands, where knowledge is given to you for you to turn into wisdom. I'm back, y'all. Lord Shu here again with another episode. Today, we're going to pick up where we last left off in the book of self, and we're going to move on to step four, which is talking about preparing for world travel. Now, if you're new to the channel, please click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know how I can make these videos better. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, family. Good to see you again, for real. How you been? So I'm gonna grab Hybrid Manual real quick. You can get this book for free on my website, shoelovesrebels.com, or you can go to hbsxpopup.com and order a hard copy directly from me. Let's get into it. Prepare for world travel. One, study abroad, work abroad, internship. So here are three ways I think you should try to use to get into a country a lot easier. So one of them is studying abroad, another is working abroad. So studying abroad is if you're a college student and you wanna transfer college overseas and then you can go to college there and then you'll be able to live in that country and go to school there. Another way is working abroad, getting a job in a different country and working there. You can get a visa first, you know, you can get a visa and then move there and you can live there longer. And then an internship, so if you're already a college student and you're looking to uh, get an internship in the field that you're going to school for, then you can get, take an internship in a different country. And then you go there, you can stay there for as long as how long the internship is. But this will still require you to get a passport. So having a passport is probably the most important thing. Which brings us to our next step, study language basics. At understanding a language enough to be able to um, stay out of trouble and get directions and be able to uh, order food, get the necessities that you need while you're in that country. You don't want to be caught with your pants down, can't speak none of the language. Some of these European countries, most of them speak English as a second language, so you'd be good. But if you're going somewhere where English isn't a second language or taught in the schools there in that country, then you might want to pick up some basics or get a translator. The next step, moving costs, home and credit, driver's license. So understanding the same exact principles that finances and living are built on here in the States, you should also know in the country that you plan on going to, if you plan on living there uh, longer than just a few, you know, few weeks. I would actually look into the credit system of that country, the process of renting and owning a home, the process of um, like a driver's license. Do you need a driver's license from that country or can you use your American driver's license there? And also uh, moving costs, because you gotta know how much it's gonna cost to move from America to a foreign country. So those are just some important steps to get started with moving or traveling to a different country, having the proper credentials to be able to travel to that country. So you can't leave the States without a passport. You have to have a passport. So keep that in mind. In order to have a passport, you gotta know the exact requirements that come with that as well. So if you don't meet those requirements, you won't be able to get a passport, which means you won't be able to travel to a foreign country. So that's pretty much it for today's episode, y'all. If you like this episode, please click that like button, leave a comment, let me know that you love me because I love you. And also click that subscribe button. Let me know that you're still rocking with me. Until next time, y'all, it's Lord Shoot. Holla.